how does it feel to be like legal legal? It's fun. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I had my first legal drink on Thursday, like after my show, which was awesome to like do a live show and then finally get to do what like my crew does, is like have their glass of wine and chill. And then I was finally like, yeah, I can join you guys. Yeah, it was awesome. And like my crew got me a cake that looked like a keg. It was awesome. It said like Taylor's Brewing Company on it. You have a good cast and group. Oh, yeah. Well, I grew up with them, you know, so they were, all of them were, I think they were more excited about me turning 21 than I was. Okay, and I heard you saying something like, they got you pretty great birthday presents in previous years. Yes. Can you tell us about that? I have had a pony. I made a joke with the creator of my show, David Kendall, and he was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, I want a purple pony. Little do I know, at our table read, they go, oh, Taylor, wait, and they open up the doors, and what do you know, a pony comes in with purple glitter and like purple braids in its hair. They're like, it's yours for the day. So I use, everyone else is like using golf carts or just walking. I had a purple pony that I was riding for my dress room to set. Yeah. Okay, now that you're 21, what drink are you dying to try? We have Cosmos here tonight, which I've never had. I don't even know what's in a Cosmo. Like my friends were asking me, I was like, I really actually have no idea. Like cranberry juice, I know there's cranberry juice, there's like something red in it. It's red, it's pink. It's red, it's pink, it's whatever, it's sex in the city. So that's what I'm excited to drink. And do you like the fact that your birthday's really close to Halloween? You know, I, it's a toss up. Cause there's always like the dilemma of like, do I have a costume party? But are people gonna wanna dress up the weekend before and dress up the weekend, you know? So like, especially this year though, like this is the thing now, especially that I'm 21, I am not going to feel like dressing up next week. So I'm like, what's the most comfortable costume I can do? My best friend's the same way. Because obviously we're going to dress up as the same thing. And she's like, I don't feel like wearing heels next week. Like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm trying to think of like easy, comfortable costumes. I was thinking about maybe going as like a holy cow and just getting like a cow jumpsuit and throwing on angel wings and calling it a day. I feel like onesies are kind of like the best way to go. Because you're so comfortable in your pajamas, basically. Yeah, well, but the other thing is, is like, is it going to be cold in LA? Is it going to be hot? You never know. That's hard. Would you say you're more of a girl who loves to dress up or do you like to be really casual, no makeup, watching TV? I like to dress up when I have other people to help me do it. <laughs> Growing up as an actor, it's very hard for me. When I like think that I have to do it myself, I get so stressed out. I'm like, I gotta pick out my own clothes, I gotta do my own hair, I gotta do my own makeup, what? So I like being comfortable when it's just me, but when I have people to help me like I did tonight, I love it. And one more question. When you're going out, what song do you play? What's your number one song you have to listen to? Oh, goodness. For Well, I heard Megan Trainor's All About That Bass. I randomly found it on, like, Spotify or something way before it came out. So that has been my jam for a while. But now that it's on the radio, like, all my friends are like, Taylor, let's stop. But it's still my favorite. I love that song. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you go inside okay, and enjoy your party. Happy birthday.